trying to figure out the secret behind those amazing illusions and magic tricks? Our new compilation of magic tricks will set you up with the chops you need to impress your friends with your amazing magic and sleight of hand. So you've been invited to a tea party. Don't pour boiling water on the tea bags just yet. We know a fun way to impress your friends. Take some tea bags. Carefully open them and empty out the contents. We'll make the tea later in a cup. And for now, let's see the trick. Straighten out the bags, put them vertically on the table, and light them on fire. Look, the bags are flying away like little balls of fire. Very beautiful. But beware of any flammable objects nearby. It would be better to do this trick outdoors. For the next trick, we'll need some water, a candle, a few matches, and an empty glass. We've added some food coloring to enhance the effect. Pour the water on a plate. Stick the matches in the candle, then place it in the center of the plate. Light the matches on fire and cover with an empty glass. The water gets sucked up inside the glass and the candle rises. Cool! This happens because the air inside the glass heats up and expands. And when the flame goes out, the air cools down and shrinks, creating a vacuum that sucks in the water. Simple physics! Take half of a match. Attach a string to it and tape it to the bottom of a glass. Turn the glass upside down. Rub a plastic tube with a woolen cloth and bring it near the glass. The match starts to dance and follow the tube. Next, we'll show you how to make matches that you can light off any surface. We'll need some water and a box of matches. Wet the match and rub it against the side of the box to collect some phosphorus on the match head. Let the matches completely dry out. The surface and different matches are ready to go. Let's test them. They work! Just don't forget that it's dangerous to play with fire. You won't need to go to the Illusionist Academy to learn how to perform this simple yet effective little trick. Stick a piece of double-sided tape onto your thumb. Attach a match on the tape. Let's see what we've got. Close your hand and the match lifts up. Open and the match is hidden behind the thumb. Match, no match, reappearing and disappearing again. Magic. Let's continue with our tricks with matches, but this time it's the match box that's going to vanish. Cover the box with your hand. Voila! The matches are still there, but the box just disappeared. Show your hands to let everyone see that they're empty. Well, it's not actual magic, but our very carefully crafted props. Cut off the bottom and one of the sides of the box. Glue it with double-sided tape onto the match holder. Glue the matches to the holder so that they don't fall off when the box turns. Now you just have to learn to turn the matchbox without anyone noticing. A professional magician's arsenal wouldn't be complete without some fire tricks. Place your hand near the wick of a candle and a bright flame starts going out of your finger. Want to learn how it's done? We'll need a long lighter. Take off the screw and take the lighter apart. Carefully take out the gas container. Take out the little straw. Put the pieces together. Attach the gas mechanism to your wrist with the help of some tape. Position the tube along your index finger so that its end sticks out a bit above the nail. Press on the gas release button and look for a flame source. Just remember, safety first! With our next trick, you'll learn to keep a flame on the tip of your finger. The equipment for this trick is simple. You will only need a matchbox. Light a match. Shockingly, the flaming match balances on the tip of your finger. What is the secret? Lighting a match, press it firmly to the index finger. Having stuck a wooden tip to the finger, the match will keep the balance. If you wet your finger, the match will hold even more reliably. We have not invented the perpetual motion machine, but we managed to design an eternal match. Light a match with a matchbox, then shake your hand and extinguish the fire. Light the burned match again, and the flame flares up again. What's the catch? You are going to need two matches and adhesive tape. Connect the matches with the tape. Paint the edge of one match with a black marker, imitating a burned sulfur head. It remains to train yourself to rotate the match discreetly to the right side. Vigorously shake your hand, distracting the viewer's 
his attention from what is happening on the other side of the palm, and all will turn out. For this simple trick, you will need two regular matches. Approach the matches to each other so that they cross. Rapid movement of the fingers, and one of the matches is behind the other. Another movement, and the matches are again disconnected. All that is needed for the trick is agility and skill. Wet the tip of the matches in the water. Now, by slightly spreading your fingers, you can discreetly put one match behind the other. Distract your friends from their dinner plates with this unusual fork balancing trick. Let's see how it's done. Take two forks and join their ends at an angle, like this. Put a toothpick in between the teeth of the forks. Place the toothpick on the edge of a glass and try to find some balance. The forks seem to float in mid-air. But that's not all. Light the toothpick on fire. The forks are hanging on the end of the burnt out toothpick. We can even give them a little push. The wow effect is guaranteed. This intense trick involves piercing your hand with a burning candle. This will definitely make you wonder if magic is real. Yes, you pierce your hand with a burning candle, yet you don't even feel a thing. No fear, no pain. What's the secret? We're going to need a box with no side panels and a toilet paper roll. Cut the roll to the size of the box. Measure the diameter of the roll and cut out matching holes in the top and bottom parts of the box. Insert the roll into the opening. Secure it with hot glue. Your hand should be able to freely move in the gap between the roll and the wall of the box. After this trick, you'll see what a really surprised crowd looks like. Time to turn up the lights! Let's show a trick with fire. Hold a lighted candle with both of your hands. Smoothly lead one hand upwards and remove the flame from the candle. But the flame needs to be returned. Return it back to place. To make this trick, you need a small candle. Cut it and take out the candle wick with the catch and glue a piece of double-sided scotch tape to it. Put a ring on your thumb. Attach the candle wick to the ring. To show the trick, simply set fire to the fake candle wick and quietly extinguish the flame. It is better to show such a trick under your parent's supervision. Remember that fire is not a toy. You don't have to own the power of telekinesis to revive the matchbox and make it move independently. You'll need an empty box of matches. Pull out the drawer and clamp the skin of your wrist with the box. Bend your arm and the box starts to move. This trick is so simple, yet so impressive. And this trick with a magic match can be shown at any party. Hold a hand over the match and a part of the match disappears without a trace. One more pass by the hand and the match is fully restored. You need a regular match and a black marker. Paint the adjacent edges of the match with the marker. Paint the match on a black background. Twist the match with your finger, showing one side or the other. Simple, but very spectacular. Exact science without a single pinch of magic. Let's twirl the bright flame into a spiral using only the laws of physics. You will need a 5 liter plastic bottle. Cut the neck and the bottom. Cut the remaining part in half. Set fire to a small piece of dry alcohol and surround it with plastic walls. Because of the arrangement of the walls, the flame changes its direction and begins to move along a spiral. This is due to the flow of air that goes around the bottle walls and comes to the fire from both sides. It's time to go outside. Let's make a match bluster. All you need is two matchboxes. Paste a match on each of the sides of the matchbox. Place one more match between the sulfur heads. Light a match and shoot fireballs at invisible rivals. And remember the rules of fire safety. This trick can only be performed outside, away from flammable objects. For the next trick, you will need a pill of dry alcohol and a metal urn. Put the urn on the spinning disc. Put dry alcohol on a plate on the bottom of the basket. Rotate it. Air whirls twist the tongue of the flame into a beautiful spiral. This is so beautiful and unusual. The magical power of thought will cause the box to open and close without outside help. Mark and cut a slot on the reverse side of the box. 
Put a little drawer into the box, the center of the slot with the marker. Make a hole using the awl. Put a match in the hole. Fill the box with matches. You get a great manual engine for the box. Move the match with a finger and the box moves in different directions. Wonders of telekinesis in action! For the next trick, you need a match and a safety pin. Pierce the match with the pin. Snap the structure. With a light movement of the fingers, the match passes through the pin. The secret is to create tension by pressing the match into the pin. Sharply let go of the match. It springs out and makes a turn around its axis. The match is spinning so fast that no one will notice anything. Give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. And we are already shooting a new video for you. And don't forget to click on the bell so you don't miss our new videos.